Good afternoon. My name is Darren Duffany. I have Will here as my cameraman. I uh, wave Will. Wave right there. Uh, today we're going to be going over uh, airway management. Uh, a patient without a patent airway has no chance of survival. Uh, understanding the basics to airway management is the key to success. Uh, today we'll be going over briefly um, ABCs, uh, have the normal respiratory rate of an adult and adequate signs and symptoms of uh, difficult breathing or inadequate breathing. So first we'll go over is the ABCs when you come into an unconscious patient or assess their level of consciousness. You're gonna see if their airway is patent, if they're breathing, chest rise, and their circulation with their color. Next, if they're not, you're also gonna to wanna to, uh, look into manipulating the airway. Either whether it's a trauma, you're gonna do a jaw thrust, or if it's a head tilt, you can do a head tilt and try and get that patent airway going. After that, you want to go select uh, an airway adjunct. You're going to either want to select, I brought numerous examples uh, of the different types of airways that we carry on our rigs uh, from 30s, 40s, or 4, 5, 6, all the way up to 100s. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to want to measure for the oral airway from the corner of the mouth to the angle of the jaw. So you measure like that. So that one's That one's too big and then that one fits perfect. You also can either use uh, an NPA, a nasal pharyngeal airway, and these ones go as small as like 18 French all the way up to the large ones of the uh, 34 French. And how you would measure for these is the corner of the, uh, the nostril to the tip of the earlobe. And usually the size bubble is the, the, the diameter of your nostril. So you're gonna look and figure out and you loop them up and then you would insert and turn as it goes in. For today's example, for rescue breathing, after we assess this patient and determine that he's unconscious, is there's, there's agonal respirations or there's not, not no respirations or he's apneic, uh, we're gonna start rescue breathing. So we're gonna go with an oral airway and we'll insert the oral airway, paint that. After we did the head, tail, chin. Next, we're gonna select the BVM. Uh, I've always learned that it is the C3 method when you come to the BVM. You take the BVM, select the appropriate size BVM, apply it over the nose. Your C goes on the, the mask and your three, your three fingers goes underneath the jaw to create a good seal. Once you get a good seal, you can watch the chest rise. You're also gonna wanna attach this to your our oxygen, whether it's 10 liters or 15 liters, just depending on your protocol, uh, for as a supplemental oxygen. <laughs> so that right there is for rescue breathing for an adult patient. And you're gonna do a rate of 12 to 20 and get good chest rise. And that is it. Thank you very much.